Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, okay, you've got to admit, Sanctuary is looking pretty bloody good. Some of these new buildings that are popping up, they are bloody sexy. And the town's starting to do its job too. We've got enough power, we've got food, we've got water. My lovely industrial sector at the back over here, that's doing its job pretty bloody nicely too. So, okay. I would say we're off to a good bloody start here, but we do have one rather major problem. Which is absolutely all of this is powered by ASAM sensors, and um, yes, we've kind of almost run out of those. Oh, and speaking of which, okay, I hadn't noticed we got, yes, a 3 by 3 agricultural plot, so yeah, we're putting down one of those. Right, okay, so um, I was just saying, we're almost out of ASAM sensors. Now we're even more almost out of ASAM sensors, lovely. Good news is I know where they are. The bad news, uh, that's West Everett. Which means one, it's a long way away. And two, uh, that's super mutant territory. Super mutants in survival mode uh, are no joke. So, okay. I've had a chance to think about this. I've got a plan. Guns, explosives, and drugs. I never said it was a sophisticated plan. Okay, with gun nut one, yeah, I could make some powerful weapons for the early game. The problem is I've just kind of burnt my supply of gears uh, thanks to, yes, increasing the town's power supply. So, okay, guns, that's not gonna work. As for drugs, though, okay, that one's more manageable. I've got some Psycho, I've got some Jet, and Psycho Jet is ludicrously good in this game. So, uh, slow timer, bonus damage, uh, bonus AP, bonus damage resistance, oh yeah, that'll flip and do the job. And, uh, I just leveled up from making drugs, didn't I? Okay, Mayor Bob, you are going down a dark path here. As for explosives, I'm sitting on, yeah, five frag grenades at five molotovs. That is a lot of bloody firepower, but... I wouldn't mind a bit more, and I wouldn't mind potentially buying uh, some better mods for my gun. So, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take a very specific route to West Everett that's gonna take me by multiple shops. And in terms of, uh, yes, trading, I think I know precisely what I can use to trade. Because, uh, yes indeed, just in case you've never come across this, by the way, just around the back of this house over here in Sanctuary... Here we go, uh, down to the root cellar. And this place is lovely. You've got oil, you've got yourself a lovely, lovely toolbox that can give you all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, but most importantly, uh, you've got solid uh, flipping uh, gold bars. Now, it's so easy to just pick these up and then uh, go to the workbench, deposit junk, and then forget that you've just deposited the gold bars uh, until down the line you break them down into, like, you know, gold as a crafting component. Which you definitely shouldn't do. Because gold as a crafting component is, one, actually not that uncommon, and two, really not used that much until the late game. What these gold bars are here for is early game trading. I'm gonna barter with these uh, to get my hands on some rather good gear. Okay, this is what I love about survival mode in Fallout 4, how when you're going on a big journey to a new area for the first time, especially at low levels, you've really got to think carefully about all sorts of practical considerations. You've got to make sure you're taking enough food with you, and enough water, and you know, make sure you set off at a good time of day so visibility is good and whatnot. And on top of that, you know, obviously, don't set off until you're already in tip-top shape because you don't know how long it's going to be until you get back home again. So, okay, let's tick them off a one by one. Okay, it's almost midnight now. Six hours of sleep will do just a fine for me because, yes, the first stage of the journey should be pretty simple. Meaning the morning light will properly be in place by the time we're reaching a new territory. And gosh flipping darn it, weakness is not what I needed right. When you sleep, sometimes, uh, yes, you get a bit on the ill side. And weakness is just a terrible 20% bonus damage uh, from all sources. So, uh, okay, we're not having that. I'm sorry that's unacceptable. This here, this is why, yes, being so lucky with antibiotics is so bloody good. So we're having some of that right now. That makes me thirsty. Absolutely all medicine does, uh, but that's okay. I'm Mayor Bob. I've got a water pump right outside my bloody house. What I should have done is eaten before I went to bed. Going to bed hungry and thirsty, it does increase the chances of getting ill. Oh, and you know what? This is a big day. I'm eating a death claw steak for breakfast, damn it. 
Right, got plenty of water, got a couple of snacks in case I get hungry on the roads. And the weather today is looking pretty good, so okay. We've stacked the deck in our favour as far as we can. Let's go begin the journey. John, don't forget, you did just level up from making all those drugs. Oh, and I will happily take yes, ninja. Perfect world, we will be able to sneak attack a couple of mutants. I mean, I'd love to take Demo Expert, but yes, we did kind of sacrifice Perception earlier in the run. Also, John, Jake just went back to his workshop. Why didn't you take a Lone Wanderer, you stupid bastard? Okay, I definitely should have just taken Lone Wanderer. That would have been way more useful, but... Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with this. It's all gonna be fine. Right, straight on to the next. Past the Museum of Freedom, as I was saying. Take a right, though. Just watch out, yeah to the right here. Generally, this is going to be safe. Like, you know, never take anything for granted. All right, just keep that scanning. We should be A-OK. -okay. There's a Brahmin right there. OK. Now, we know who that is. That's another person I want to tag, because that there is the first shop that's willing to come to your settlement, but will only visit there after you actually bloody go and say hello to her. So, oh, Carla, you are always a star. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Oh, Bethesda Games. I love how she's just immediately standing inside her own Brahmin. Yes, very importantly, be sarcastic. Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. There we go, because for some reason, yes indeed. On this occasion, sarcastic means flirt. Sometimes it means tell a bad joke. Sometimes it means flirting. Sometimes it means be catastrophically rude. But on this occasion, it gets you a permanent... Please stop glitching inside me. The camera is... The camera is not cooperating and this Brahmin definitely isn't, okay? And... Oh, hang on! There's, 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 there's... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Okay, there's a reason Carl decided to, uh, to move on at this exact moment in time. Dog mate, we appear to be under attack from random wild dogs. So if we could, like, do something about this bloody hell. Welcome to Fallout 4, where occasionally this nonsense just happens. And, uh, I mean, okay, I think I've been lucky enough not to be hit, like, once on this occasion. And... Uh, Everything's fine. Just some random dogs that we got attacked by. We didn't get attacked by while we were flirting. It's all fine. It's a giant pile of meat. It's all gonna be a-okay. And crucially, yes, time is now frozen once we're inside the menu and... Uh, hello there, Saxane. You're actually selling ASAM sensors. And they've got zero weight even in survival mode, so... Okay. And yeah, this is why you definitely want to just trade away your gold bars, because... Uh, Gold watchers are bloody everywhere and give you two gold. So just get your gold from there. Gold bars are there for selling. But yeah, I'll take a handful of 308 and also I'm pretty sure you were selling. Yeah, honestly, that's cheap for the amount of damage a Molotov cocktail can do. Load me up with everything you've got. And better and better, Carla's now gonna head back to town. She'll be waiting for me next time I get there. Beautiful. Oh, and perfect timing. We're we just deal. around the corner from the hey, Drumlin Diner. So, okay. We got ourselves a tiny, tiny mission anything. here between Even Trudy and these like idiots who want to, you know, potentially square. cause a bit of a fuss with Trudy. So, you know, we could negotiate a solution. We might be able to solve it. We might not be able to solve it. That's okay. They're just pulling out their guns. It's fine. What we want to do instead is... Uh, dog meat, I'm going to suggest you walk away. Because, um, yes. This here is part of the reason we just bought ourselves some lovely, lovely, lovely Molotov cocktails. Let's just get down. They're going to start taking damage in a hurry. One of you's already in trouble. Just to finish off at Simone if we can. Dog meat's already getting involved, which is beautiful. And down they go. And Trudy's going to be thrilled I just set these people on fire. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. 
And there we go, money, XP, everything's lovely. And Trudy's also very sexy because yes, she sells, I'm pretty sure guaranteed, a suppressed pipe weapon right from the start of the game and uh, not just any suppressed pipe weapon. 42 damage, silenced, guaranteed at level 1 if that's what you want. Pretty bloody sexy. And honestly, the price is right too. I will be taking that, thank you very much. And once again, okay, she's selling ASAM sensors. Everybody apparently is selling those, so uh, for the time being, until I know, yes, that I can actually, like, craft my own, I'm assuming sooner or later we're going to get these schematics. Honestly, for that price, just keep buying. And yeah, now we pretty much want to just make a break straight east to get to West Everett, so uh, yeah, we're going to pass by the drive-in, we're going to skirt around the edge of Lexington, and there is crucially one very special location I want to pop into because uh, survival mode. One of the keys is uh, make sure you've got a route planned uh, that takes you by rest stops. And I know a very good one uh, right by West Everett. Oh. That's just a bloat fly. Don't worry about that. That's not what I was worried about. What I was worried about was, uh, yeah, there's the odd mine dotted around here. Honestly, I'm not sure why. Like, I'm not sure who mined this particular road uh, between Concord uh, and a cinema. There's no sign of, like, you know, military presence or anything. No one lives here, so... Yeah, no idea. That's fine. Could be some good looting. Uh, and we've already reached the edge of Lexington. Good. Though we do not want to go in, just hop over. Really did need to hop over the car. That was, like, you know, overkill. Could have just stepped around it. In the back here... Definitely at least one rad roach that's going to, you know, pop out and go boo. Can't remember precisely where, but it's all going to be fine, okay? Just grab myself a few little bits and pieces. Dog mate. Where are ya? I know you're around here. There we go. I just heard you emerge. So dog meat can hopefully take care of that anyway. Seriously, ammo is worryingly lower here, so uh, fusion cells completely useless, but a quantum will never hurt. Just, just stay away from the bloke fly over there if we can. Straight back out onto the road, and then we can just, yeah, follow the train line going in this direction. So, okay, this far out from Lexington, there's the Super Duper Mart, and it's just dog meat. Just dog meat almost detecting me, no trouble. There shouldn't be any major problems. There's plenty of ghouls in Lexington, but they're all very much in the centre, inside the buildings. Uh, this here, this is where I wanted to go first. Because you, unless I'm uh, very much mistaken, are going to be... Hello there, Mystic Pines. My first big rest stop, an old retirement home. Yeah, just a handful of bugs and whatnot in here. As soon as we've cleared them out, we can drop a save in any of the side rooms. Lovely. Just drop an hour's rest. Please don't get sick. And we're fine. Okay, so now I've got a nice safe spot right here, just around the corner from West Everett. Though, thinking about it, John, this was very stupid. You could 100% have gone to Covenant. Okay, that was a terrible plan. That was just taking a risk with my health for no reason whatsoever. Now, my lurks down the bottom. Mole rats up top. Okay, both are bit on the dangerous side and maybe we can squeeze between them i could have sworn there were myelokes down here there are definitely myelokes in this lake right it's looking pretty calm so far they wouldn't just spawn in no that's not really what fallout 4 does just keep your distance may as well you know Pass by Covenant while we're literally wandering by. Seems come so far. I think we should now be safe to yeah, make a sprint up the road. Uh, daylight is going to make a fool out of me sooner rather than later. So, just dog meat. It was just dog meat making a noise. I thought that was something else. But no, I'm not used to traveling with like any companions. Not even dog meat. So, the dog noises, they freak me out. Also, I'm going the right way, right? Yes, Covenant's definitely still more in this direction. It wasn't in that direction. That was east. I was going completely up the wrong road. Covenant is, yes, a bit more in this direction. So, okay, just got to do the safe test to get inside. Fun fact, there's literally no way to fail the safe test. Doesn't matter what you answer, they'll let you inside. 
even in the event that you answer the thing that later in the quest you read is the thing that a synth would say. Even if you say that, you're still allowed inside. Congratulations, hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? So, if you answer catcher, which is the answer given by Institute Infiltrators, regardless, they let you in. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. I really shouldn't have done, you know. So, okay, nice new town, and also another store. Including the delightful Justice, the staggering shotgun. Though, unfortunately, yes, I can't even come close to affording that, even if I'd stored all my gold bars up. Yeah, not even near to what I'd need. But this thing is a beast. Instead, I'll trade drugs for some fashionable glasses because, yes, we do want a bit more charisma going forward. I feel like, yes, Med Bob definitely sees himself as a fashionable glasses sort of a guy. Oh, yeah, that's some nice glasses right there. You're looking good, Med Bob. And even better, Covenant in their guest house, the middle bed is just free for anybody, so... Hand myself to one a desk a fan never gonna say no to those lovely gears and once again just drop myself one hour of sleep here not ill beautiful so okay we're now pretty safe to move on to west everett because uh, unless i'm very much mistaken it should be pretty much just over the hill oh hang on hang on hang on hang on I think I've just found one of the new faction people. Hello, you're in Nightingale, are you? Like your plague doctor mask. That's lovely. Excuse me. I might be the only doctor for miles. You should let me take a look at you. Okay, so we've just got, you know, random doctors on the roads. I'll think about it. Oh, okay. Right, so nothing yeah. from you yet, but Benny found one of your drops previously. Stop. So you know what? I'm guessing we'll be having more business with you down the line, buddy. So okay, moving forward and... Ooh. We are closer to Malden than I remembered, aren't we? Yes, yes, we most definitely are. I feel like maybe, yeah, we'd be better off at sticking a well clear of Malden. Yeah, going down to the nice little house over here. Taking out the local insects and whatnot. Don't need to, you know, set this place up as a proper house or anything. But yeah, we'll cross the water and use this as a launching off point to get into the town. I'm pretty sure there are... Oh. Okay, just a handful of blood bugs. That's all absolutely fine. I say this is absolutely fine. Like, kind of got a little bit... Oh, oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're just hatchlings. It's going to be a-okay. That's... No, 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 no. Ow. Okay, that hurts a little bit too. Dog meat, would you mind... Okay, we seem to... Oh, that's a proper... That was a proper one. Oh, that's... And that's why we dropped safety saves. Because blood bugs are terrifying. Okay, back to where we were. Hello there, Mr. Nightingale, once again. Let's, you know, try that again. Maybe a bit of a different approach. The problem is, yeah. Either we're dealing with uh, mutants by Malden or blood bugs right here. It's possible we may be able to just sort of uh, sneak around them a bit over in this direction, though, uh, seriously. Under the circumstances, John. Shotgun. Proper blood bug means we're going to be wanting to, yes, use the shotgun. 10mm is not doing the job. There's the proper one. No trouble. No trouble at all. Skirt around you. Check left. There's more in this direction, but not many. Just skirt straight across here without being spotted. Okay. Now, we just clamber up here. And getting a tiny bit peckish. That's fine. No trouble there whatsoever. We'll eat in just a second, I'm sure. Mostly up here. Try not to get spotted. Start scouting out the situation. Yeah, we're pretty far from Molten right now. And this is actually pretty good high ground. I did not want to see skirmishers. I wanted to see perfectly normal, unremarkable super mutants. Skirmisher is nasty at this level. That is... That's mean. That's mean right there. Okay. Get down over here. Use a third-person camera. Just to, you know, have a bit of a look around. 
bit of a poke, etc., etc. This wall might not be a terrible approach. I know we'll be coming from the low ground, which isn't ideal. But, to bare minimum, we've got something good and solid to hide behind. Oh, and hello, Saxony. I'm hearing noise. Something is... Oh. Something's firing. And that sounds like... Hang on. That sounds like energy weaponry, which, I mean, mutants can use, but generally are higher levels, not these basics, so... Okay. Something's causing trouble. Gets over here. Someone's tossing Molotovs. Hang the cock on. We're out West Everett. The question is... Okay, hang on. This. Oh! Okay, we might be about to we might be about to start causing a lot of trouble actually. Right, we found us we found a super mutant just Well this is this is this is all started. Right! Kill my companion. Right, well dog meat's already in trouble. Oh blimey! No, 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 no. I'm sure this is all going to be fine. Bang! And that was not good enough, actually. Okay, one more bang and just one more. Okay. One's done. That's, that's nasty. That's really nasty. This is going to make me thirsty, but screw it. We're going to be using, yes, a stim pack anyway. And definitely stuff is happening right now. Just wait for the... Oh, that's... No, that's a basic. That's a basic. That's a basic. That's that's not so bad. Keep stim packing. Maybe drink some water too. I am not ready for super mutants. This is a nightmare. Right, I need to just get out of trouble right now. And I'm going to say the best way to do that is one dose of Psycho Jet, which is going to make me thirsty, but that's fine. I've got water, so just pop out. Wait for my garner to pop up in a second. And, oh, that's... No! And no! And now over to something else. Yes, time just works really, really, really bloody differently when you are under the effects of drugs. I'm just about to life. I'm alive. Just, just for the time being, I'm alive. Just... Okay, we'll drink from the lake later. It's all going to be A-OK, -okay, probably. Okay, danger is starting to recede. Which might mean, if we're lucky, we've taken care of the first wave. Go ahead and hide, little bleeder! And the nearest one is a basic super mutant, not a skirmisher. Honestly, I'm going to call this a huge win. This is fine. Go back over to Yaps Pressed. The dog's up there. Oh! I see you, buddy. Let's see if we can... Immediately unlucky. Good. Well, this is just catastrophically stupid that we just missed both of those shots right there. Okay, just wait for him to reload. And go. I also hadn't reloaded. There's definitely more... Oh, there's... Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is a problem, actually. Okay, this is, this here is what Molotovs are for. Anyone wants to come around the corner, they're now going to be in a lot of cocky trouble, by which I mean they're going to be on fire. Time for a tactical retreat. All right, get around to the other side of town. We've just done a whole bunch of damage to these losers. Everything's going to be fine, probably. On top of that, okay, here's something interesting. The local map is saying I need to go through a doorway, suggesting clearing the mutants might not necessarily be essential. That's presumably going to be, yes, like a door going down into a basement room. There's a big basement bunker underneath the West Everett. That might be where I'm supposed to be getting. If I could just get in there and then sneak out again while these idiots are distracted on the other side of town, I mean, that could work. I also appreciate, by the way, we've kind of abandoned dog meat. We will go and pick him up later, if we can. But for the time being, every mutant is kind of on, you know, the other side of town. Which is really bloody good, because apparently there's... There's a turret there. That's peculiar. And... Oh! This is not... Oh, dog meat literally just abandoned me! Okay, dog meat decided to naff off. Dog meat doesn't want in on this anymore. Okay. I think this is a new basement. This is a brand new area. So, okay. We survived. Just ate a lot of... Okay. You, buddy, appear to have a name. Bleeder! Come closer! I crush you and feed you to dogs! 
Okay, I was hoping for maybe a bit more friendly than that, but no trouble, buddy. No trouble. I think someone just came into the room as well. Possibly, yes, more super mutants are joining him. Easy now. I don't want any trouble. Come any closer and Scout smash you. Go away. That sound, what is it? Go away, bleeder. Quiet, Hammer. I talk for us. This super mutant land human. Sickle leads super mutants here. Why you come? Speak! Okay, so we've actually got ourselves super mutants who appear to be maybe not friendly. They're not actively smashing and or eating me right now. And we're not going to cocking insult them. Alright, we're looking for ASAM sensors. I am willing to strike a deal because as I just learned outside, I am not ready to fight mutant shats. Just looking for something. What looking for? And yes, indeed. ASAMs, if you know the word. Though, can mutants read? I mean, Sickle seems pretty smart. Maybe Sickle and Hammer know what ASAMs are. What do you know about this device? Oh, now Sickle see. Sneaky human wants ASAM blinkies. No. Special things bring us luck. Human can no have. Okay, I like your head thing, by the way. Your head thing's brilliant. So, yes. What do you want, buddy? Can we do a deal here? Because, no, seriously, what would a super mutant want? Oh, I mean, logically, super mutants only typically want two things. They want green stuff. Don't know where that is, aside from, you know, in the Institute. And they want people to dip in the green stuff. John, you're a mare. You've got, like, 13 people chilling out of your settlement. Lily was just kicking the ASAM sensors recently. I will trade you one Lily for a box of ASAMs. What if I made it worth your while? You want ASAM blinkies? You trade, human. You don't work for Sickle. Maybe give you some. Okay. I'm willing to do this. This sounds positive. What do you need me to do exactly? Hammer's brother Nail run away. Coward! Nobody runs away from Sickle's tribe. You go find him. Send him back to face me. Yes. Go find brother of Hammer. Tell him come back. He leave note. Sickle can't read bad scribbles. Take it. Okay. Nail make bear friend by big car brother. Not a hundred percent sure, yes, what that might refer to. And thus begins a suburban disturbance. Lovely. Any chance you guys are willing to, you know, chat a bit more? Now I'm a here. But Nail weak like stupid hammer. You get him. You get Nail. Okay, not willing to talk too much more until we've sorted this out and gotcha. Hang on, what are we looking at there? Bit south of Drumlin. Before you get to, yeah, the crossings to Oaklands. I am not 100% sure what that location's going to be. There is like, yeah, a large junkyard in roughly that location. It could be that, potentially. There was mention of cars. Okay, there's not 100% sure what I'm being attacked by, but I've decided I'm just going to start sprinting west, back the way I came, and it's all going to be fine-ish, probably. Just, just get down over to here. Straight across the river. No trouble. No trouble. Just got my gun out. Danger's already fading. Okay, let's just get back to Covenant. You know, have a little rest there. Move on once we're, you know, nice and secure. But maybe it was just that turret I saw earlier. Okay, everything's fine. It's all under control, probably. Okay, it's 7pm. I could spend the night here at, yes, Covenant, but no. I think, actually, there's another location I can get to before it's night proper. That's going to be a much better launching off point for going to, say, hi to Nail. Here we go, straight back to Lexington, but on this occasion, yeah. I want to rejoin the much more traditional route I would follow if I was going down towards Boston, which is going to bring me very nearby to where I want to go anyway. Here we go, this old classic. Just a straight up the side of a Corvega this way. Now, yeah, depending on what happens to be living in the house, it's just ahead on the right. Could be, you know, more or less trouble. But for the time being, just eyes open. This is normally 
a nice, calm, easy way to get a fair bit further south. Oh, though, hang on. Speaking about that, John. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that maybe where Nail is? Like, that house that's somewhere along this road that's sometimes got super mutants in it? That could be precisely where Nail is. And, oh, that's a nice evening sky. I'm enjoying that, actually. That's lovely. Okay, maybe not, actually. I think possibly my first instinct was bang on. There's a junkyard right over here, just off this road. By the looks of it. I don't think that structure used to be here. I think that might be no. That might be, yes, potentially where Nail lives. So, okay. I'm tired. It's almost dark. I'm thirsty. I'm not going there right now. I want to find somewhere to spend the night. And I think I know precisely where that ought to be. We're going to go and make friends with the Brotherhoods. Here we go. I can already hear them fighting. Just a mosey straight up the back street towards the police station. Trying not to, you know, get so... Oh, blimey! Ah, my leg! I knew there was a mine there. I definitely knew there was a mine there. But it's fine. We're just going to slightly jam stuff into me. It's going to be fine. That wasn't the mine I was expecting. Okay, maybe like, you know, have myself a little snack while I'm just, you know, dying horribly. There we go. Now we're moving in the right direction. John, you've got like 10 hit points. This is fine. Just need to not get hit right this second. Not get hit right this second. And now we jump in here. Okay, we're going to assist the soldiers, but we're going to do it from a nice safe location right here. Because, yes, these idiots can't actually, you know, get past this small barrier. So this is a perfectly safe location to just hang out and take out these stupid losers. Because, yeah, on survival mode, even roamers are not that tough, really. I'm kind of worried about ammo levels, though. Ammo levels could be a little bit of a uh, problem, actually. We could be about to run out. You're doing a good job there, which is lovely. You just missed. Just, okay. I need a bit more perception too. This is, this is definitely a problem. Okay, everything's going to be fine. They'll just, you know, naff off once I've taken out this guy. They'll move in that direction. They can, oh, go. One nice throwable will take out you stupid losers. There we go. I can't even see them anymore. But that's fine. That area is on fire at the minute. So I still get the credit. Yeah. Molotovs in particular. They absolutely flipping annihilate the limbs. And when ghouls don't have limbs, ghouls haven't got anything. You're coming at me, buddy. You're coming in this direction too. Down you go. Yeah. We could take care of this. Like, you know, as long as you're here... It's manageable, especially as this guy does keep getting up over and over again. Might be one more wave, then we'll be good. And here they come. Just one or two more. And there's a stalker over there. I've decided I'm just going to, yes, just toss one more Molotov at you. Take you out, buddy. Down you go. And it looks to me like we're almost through this. Very, very nice indeed. That's almost through this. We're also kind of out of ammo. Okay, that's fine. Go over to the shotgun. The shotgun's good too. 10 millimeters. Okay, seriously, I'm hoping there's not. There we go. Level 10. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's just a limb doing the Bethesda dance. You're finishing off the last of these individuals. And we're golden. Good. And that gets me a spot I can sleep in the police station. Slight miscalculation on my side. Mayor Bob, unfortunately, is, yes, used to the finer things in life. Meaning, though I could drop a save in a sleeping bag... I can't actually sleep the night in them, okay? Like, the Brotherhood, they're rough and tough. They could deal with it. Mayor Bob, not so much. I'm pretty sure, yeah, a sleeping bag, if I try, it's not going to work out for me. And, yeah, I awake still tired. I can't deal with tiredness. I can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag. I'm just a fussy pleb like that. But, I mean, bare minimum, at least it's still a save. Oh, and better and better. Level flipping 10. Very nice. That feels like a good important threshold. So, okay. What do we want to be doing here? You know what? I just feel flimsy. So, uh, let's get the endurance just moving in the right direction, which also opens up, yeah, Aqua Boy as soon as I want it. Oh, and hello there, sexy. Okay. Jake needs something. Hey there, Slick. I hope you're receiving this. Transmitter? If you can hear this, come on back to the hardware store. Got some news on the car, Is this even broadcasting? 
Okay, we'll get back to him. We're going after, yes, the other mutant first. And while we're doing that, I may as well, you know, send Dance on his way. We may well choose to catch up with him at Archjet later. In the meantime, can't help but suddenly remember the details of that note, which is... Uh, there was mention of cars, but there was also mention of... Ah, uh, yes. Bear friend. I am deeply concerned by the prospect of bear friend, because uh, if I'm not ready to take on mutants, I am definitely not ready to take on bears, so... Uh, Ideally, we can just sneak past if there is indeed a bear there, or maybe something else will have killed the bear, and if not... Okay, I'm pretty glad I've got a second dose of Psycho Jet, let's just say that. Although I tell you what, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Potentially if Nail's that far away, I think actually, yes, I've got a better route in mind. Okay. Paladin, me and you, as it turns out, we're about to become better friends uh, than I thought. Because I'm going to be needing you to walk me down some of this here roads. Oh yeah, this is perfection. Dance has walked me all the way up to Archer, which I did not realise till looking at the map right now. Happens to be pretty much precisely where Nail is. So, okay. All we need to do is, yeah, just mosey on around the back of the building... We should be able to get on top of Nail nice and easy. Have a quick chat and get him a home. Don't fight any bears. Here we go. So just up the hill by the side here, we're only 100 metres away. Perfection. And here's interesting. Radstack Doe, dead ahead, right in the right direction. Now, if there were bears here, the bears would be attacking the Radstags. The Radstags would be running. So in which case... Okay, no trouble, guys, no trouble. Please don't attack me. Okay, very happy to live and let live. I know technically this is danger, but like... Please don't cocking charge me. Please don't... You're going to charge me, aren't you? You cocking fool, I just want to live and let live. All right, that's absolutely fine. Radstag is delicious. And yet more does dead ahead, uh, possibly the same ones as before. But apparently, oh. I feel like, you know, Nail's not doing so good. So there's Nail. Help myself to. Okay. That's fine. There's the bear. I feel like possibly the bear didn't want to be friends with Nail. So all we need to do is just help myself to all of this. And back away. I think this was, yes, definitely the right approach. Now we just get back down, follow the road back the way we came. Okay, Nail's dead. Wasn't my fault, okay? He was dead when I got to him. And you can believe me, because yeah, you saw me fighting mutants outside a second ago. Okay, I was not in a position to take out Nail. Okay, just mosey on down, straight over. Just go straight towards my destination. I suspect the super mutants won't see a thing. Here we go. Best as I can tell, nothing but that one turret. But I think, unfortunately, that means that one turret does need to go down. Because I do not like it. It scares me a bit. So just around the back of you. Boom. Lovely. Still nice and hidden. No trouble, no attention. Help myself to all of this, thank you. Lovely. Okay, this time, when we step outside, things should be... There is a skirmisher over there. There's also a mutant town. Okay, it was possibly the mutant town. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you on your own? Wanna hound isn't so bad. Okay, I think you need to go down, buddy. Just round to here. We're fully loaded. And... No! Lovely. Now just a couple in the head at 85%. Reload. And... Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Back to hidden. No one else seems to be distressed. Good. I'm hoping that means next time we're nice and calm. Let's go say hi to Hammer. Huh? Back with no nail? What? 
Did he make his own tribe? Ha! He think he kills Sickle? He most definitely is not going to do so, and uh, I'm not really sure what tone to take with this. Like, you know, uh, do super mutants even really do the idea of grief? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm so sorry he's dead on account of, you know, bears. I found his body. He's dead. Dead? Hmm. Emma not be happy. A Sam's maybe not lucky. Human can take. Hammer! Nail dead! Brother! No! Nail was stupid! Hammer is stupid! Sickle not surprised! What you say? But Nail weak like stupid Hammer! You killed my brother! Okay, I suspect. Uh oh. Hang on. No, 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 no. This is, this is. I'm going to help. I feel like they're going to appreciate me helping, right? Ha! Sickle best super mutant! Smartest super mutant, strongest super mutant. Human can take Hammer's old job. Human make good super mutant. Tiny, but good. All right, I've done a good thing. I've proved to them I'm good at murder. So, right, do not say I'd never join you. Just play along, because otherwise they will kill me. I am 100% on board with this. Thanks for having me. Okay... Care to elaborate? Human have tiny body, but human have super mutant heart. Human welcome here. But more ASAM blinkies? You can't talk with sickle again, human. <laughs> okay, so I've got myself a box of ASAM sensors, which is beautiful, and uh, by any chance, did Idio Savant just trigger on a quest completion? Because if so, oh, I think it did, and that means a lot of cocking XP. I love it when Idiosophon triggers on quest completion. It's the best thing. So, okay, I've now got some ASAM sensors. And even better, a handful more sitting around, though. Oh, I can't deny. These ones are blinking, yes, like yellow, not green. And I can't pick them up, so... Right, Sickle, you were suggesting that, um, yes, there might be an opportunity to get even more sensors. Human! Give sickle chalk. Human gives chalk. Sickle gives ASAM blinkies. Okay. Chalk. What do you need it for? Shh. Come close, human. Sickle tell human secret. Food here makes sickle feel bad. But sickle eat chalk makes sickle feel good again. D don't tell others. I don't want them laughing. Okay, that's actually very, very cute indeed. I will find you some chalk, good sir. So, okay, I'm going to say we have made some excellent progress here. So how about we call it a part there? Because next time, it sounds like we've now got two main things we could turn our attention to. Jake apparently has been making progress with making the ASAM sensors do more. And yes, by the looks of it, we're going to have to do something related to maybe getting him a bit more power. And though it's not shown up as a mission, yes. At this point, apparently, I can flipping trade chalk for a new box of ASAM sensors. Meaning, okay, I do immediately have a couple of thoughts about, yes, where I might be able to get some chalk. So, okay, back to Sanctuary to check in with Jacob. But then, I've already got the next stage of our journey planned out. And it's going to take us even further out than we have been before. So, hopefully, you join me next week for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.